Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on Parker Hannafin's OSPE, Auriga Systems Plus Electric Actuators. This presentation will focus specifically on the screw-driven electromechanical actuators offered by the OSPE line, known as the OSPE SB and ST. SB standing for ball screw and ST standing for trapezoidal lead screw. The OSPE, SB, and ST are industrial screw-driven linear actuators capable of long strokes and multiple bearing options. Relative to the rest of the OSPE family, the SB and ST series actuators are good for point-to-point -point applications that require stiff motion. The ball screw options are capable of moderate speed, medium thrust, and a moderate level of precision. This actuator is good for point-to-point -point moves requiring a high duty cycle. The lead screw option can only achieve low speeds, high thrust, and low precision. This option is ideal for point-to-point -point moves requiring low duty cycle and minor adjustments. Let's review some of the basic design characteristics of the OSPE-SB. The OSPE-SB is composed of a moving carriage that is guided by four glider bushings within the extruded aluminum body. The carriage is driven by an industrial ball screw. This ball screw is typically driven by either a stepper or servo motor. A thin steel strip that rides up and through the carriage assembly maintains this actuator's IP54 rating. Lastly, there are dovetail grooves within the body that provide a mounting platform or home and limit sensors, which are activated off of integrated magnets within the carriage. The lead screw driven design is very similar in design to that of the ball screw, with the exception of the screw being a trapezoidal lead screw with mating plastic nut to drive the carriage. There are three bearing options available on the OSB ESB or ST. The standard glider bearing should be used for applications that only require thrust. For applications requiring guidance for a moment load, there are two different external guides that can be added to one of the dovetail grooves on the actuator body. First is the power slide. The power slide uses preloaded steel roller wheels for harsh environments. The second is the pro line. The pro line consists of aluminum roller bearings and should be used for applications which require higher speed. The OSPE SB and ST are available in three different profile sizes, the 25, 32, and 50. The OSPE SB has a thrust capacity ranging from 56 pounds with the OSPE SB 25 all the way up to 326 pounds with the OSPE SB 50. The OSPE ST has a thrust capacity ranging from 135 pounds with the OSPE ST25 all the way up to 562 pounds with the OSPE ST50. The standard carriage ball screw has a normal load capacity ranging from 112 pounds with the 25 up to 674 pounds with the 50. The standard carriage lead screw has a normal load capacity ranging from 112 pounds with the 25 up to 337 pounds with the 50. By adding the pro line, this load capacity increases for both series to 222 pounds with the 25 and up to 805 pounds with the OSPE SB or ST50. Adding the power slide extends this load capacity even further from 267 pounds within the OSPE SB or ST25 to 999 pounds with the OSPE SB or ST50. There are two different carriage options available to choose from for the OSPE SB holder. The first of which is the standard single carriage option. Second, is a tandem carriage option which uses two carriages that move in unison for higher normal or moment load capacity. When specifying order stroke, be sure to keep in mind the minimum suggested carriage spacing for optimum performance. 
Suggested values can be found on page 56 of the catalog. There are two different carriage mounting accessories which can be added to the OSP ESB or ST. First is a clevis mount for applications only providing thrust that require compensation for misalignment. Second, there is an inversion mount that allows for the actuator body to be rotated relative to gravity as a means of further protecting the screw from any contamination. The OSP, ESP, and ST allow for the addition of several mounts, end cap mounts that thread right into the end caps on either end, and profile mounts that clamp to the dovetail grooves on any of the three surfaces available. How many mounts should you use? Consult the OSPE catalog, pages 70 and 71, to determine the maximum distance you can span. As a conservative rule of thumb, having a support every half meter should ensure adequate actuator stiffness. All OSPE, SB, and ST actuators have a carriage mounted magnet that provide home and limit sensing. These switches are available as either PNP or NPN with either a flying lead or M8 connection. There are four different motor and gearhead mounting options available for the OSPE, SB, or ST. First of which being just a motor adapter flange. Second, including the mounted Parker motor. Third, being a gearhead and mounting flange to your motor. And lastly, with gearhead and mounted Parker motor. Proper actuator sizing and selection can be made using EL sizing, Parker's free mechanic sizing tool. A separate video is also available on parkermotion.com describing how to use this sizing tool. Be sure to visit parkermotion.com for any other inquiries you might have in Parker's automation product.